Hello everyone, today I'm going to um, show you a little screencast on how to create monitor mixes in Logic Pro. Incidentally, I will be talking a little bit about the routing of outputs in Moto Ultra Light Make 3 Hybrid. Uh, this is part of an introduction to music production, which is a course given by Laudan Stearns at Coursera.org. My name is Benigno Calvadievo and I'm from Zaragoza, Spain. I hope that you enjoy the screencast. So, the first thing that I want to talk to you about is why would you need this, uh, this monitor mix. Well, let's say you have a small studio and someday a friend of yours, a bass, bass, bassist, want, comes to, to, to record and he brings his acoustic bass bass and, and you want to record it. You have your uh, beautiful condor, condenser microphone and, and you set it up rightly, uh, but now how, how can he hear the drums without disturbing the whole thing. Uh, you, you might want to uh, give him the main headphones, but those headphones we have will have the whole recording and maybe he just wants to be listening to the uh, drums. So you would create a monitor mix routed to the headphones, to the headphones a specific output that he's going to be uh, listening to and he can listen to this uh, more specific monitor mix without needing to touch anything else. So let's set one up at Logic. At the end, I'll show you how to route the outputs through the audio interface, okay? So let's go to Logic. And in Logic, I have this little uh, four bar loop in which I have uh, four drums, uh, well, four, the kick, the hi-hats, uh, the snare and the cowbell uh, that I want to, to send to this guy, uh, to his mix, okay? I have it already grouped in a, in a, in a group, uh, but now I want to send it to him. So the first thing I would do is create the bus, okay? So I would go to in out labels here and uh, select a bus for this. I'm going to create and name it uh, monitor or drum monitor. And with that, it's enough, but uh, let's put a short name, drums M, for example. Okay, now that's enough. And now what I want to do is send uh, these four tracks to this monitor, okay, uh, to this bus. So I'm going to do them all together, so I'll just select the four and I'll hold here, go to the bus and as you can see it's already labeled it correctly. So now I'm sending all of them to the monitor. One thing that you would want to consider is, now that I'm going to be sending all this to the drum, uh, to the bassist for example, let's imagine that in my, my, my mix the drums are too low and I want him to listen to them higher or I want to make a, a, a bigger impact on the bass drum rather than on the, on the hi-hats or whatever, I don't know. So you could select uh, what you want to send to him without effect, being affected by your own level. So the way you do that is you would select those as pre-fader. By default, uh, Logic shows them as post-fader. So as pre-fader, this will be sent before coming through the volume or, and panning, okay? And now, the same way I'm going to set uh, the signal level I'm going to be sending, I, I don't want to make things complicated, so I'll just set the same for all of them. Now, you might have noticed, as soon as I created this, it automatically created the strip of the bus with the input for drums monitor, which is the bus, okay? Uh, if it hadn't created it for you, you could always come here, create new auxiliary, uh, say, in my case it was stereo, go to your bus, select the input and create it, okay? But uh, Logic will do this for you as soon as you send something to that bus, it will create a strip for the bus. Okay, so now that's uh, that said, and let's check what I was telling you about. Let's bring these levels down, and as you can see, the monitor drums mix continues receiving the same amount, and if I bring them up, exactly the same. Look, I clip there. Okay, so that's that. Now, what would be the next thing to do? The next thing to do would be to, uh, to actually uh, route this um, bus to the phones or to the output that I want him to be listening to. So in my case, I selected output a 1314 phone. So if you go to your uh, in-out labels, uh, you can select, in Logic, you can select that I want to be using or showing the names provided by the driver, okay? So in my case, I selected this. Now, this might not be enough, 
and you need to know well your audio interface. In my case, in the case of, uh, of uh, it uses QMix, the module tried. And QMix, in QMix, you need to select for the phones which specific output you're going to be listening to. So selecting the output phones 1, 2 doesn't mean that it's going to be heard through the phones. In fact, normally the phones are going to be uh, set for main output 1, 2. If in your case you want the phones to be listening or to be hearing just this output, which would be the case now, you have to select it here. And now when you play uh, in, in, in Logic, in, if we come back to, to the QMix, we see that the input that this is receiving, uh, well, the only output that this is sending is through the phones. Okay, so I hope that this has been uh, instructional for you. It's been definitely fun for me. I hope it was for you to uh, talk to you again soon. Thank you for watching.